friend The new moon still shines In the clear sky oh, Hope in my eyes Make my dreams reality And the change I think we can make it And the souls I think can take it I'm just trying to make you shout out Make this whole world sound as we open our eyes, yeah Trying to have faith Blue skies ahead I Keep my thoughts clear With no fear Life can be good If I lose these blues Whoa, we open our eyes Make our dreams reality Yeah And with change I think we can make it And our souls I think can take it I'm just trying to make you shout out Make this whole world sound out We open our eyes Yeah The new moon still shines In the clear sky Oh, we open our eyes Make our dreams reality Yeah, and with change I think we can make it And our souls I think can take it I'm just trying to make you shout out Make this whole world sound out We open our eyes, yeah We open our eyes We make our dreams reality and the change I think we can make it And the souls I think can take it I'm just trying to make you shout out Make this all world sound out We open our eyes, yeah We open our eyes, yeah Come on, open our eyes, yeah One more time Open our Make my dreams reality And with change I think we can't make it 
And the souls are thinking, take it I'm just trying to make you shout out Make this whole world sound out We open our eyes, yeah. Beautiful sunrise Rays on my head Yesterday's gone Today is my friend The new moon still shines In the clear sky Oh, hope in my eyes Make my dreams reality And with change I think we can make it And the souls I think can take it I'm just trying to make you shout out Make this whole world sound out We open our eyes, yeah Trying to have faith, blue skies ahead. Keep my thoughts clear with no fear. Life can be good. If I lose these blues, whoa, we open our eyes. Make our dreams reality, yeah. And with change, I think we can make it. And our souls, I think, can take it. I'm just trying to make you shout out. Make this whole world sound out. We open our eyes, yeah. My name is Amy Kahn, and I'm a board member here at Center for Spiritual Living Denver. I want to welcome you to our live broadcast. We are a loving, expansive, powerful, and prosperous community in the heart of Capitol Hill and here online. Our primary concern is always for the well-being, support, and growth of our community. And we are so grateful that you've chosen to join us today to watch our service. 
And please join me in welcome, wishing a very, very happy birthday to Suzanne Gruba. So yay. Okay. We plan on being here every week on our virtual platform so that we can encourage and uplift each other and stay connected. Welcome. Oh, some announcements. Do you want me to do those now? Okay. <laughs> we'll continue to meet online for the coming weeks until we feel that it is safe for our community to return to the center on 789 Sherman. In the meantime, feel, please feel free to share ideas in the chat by emailing info at csldenver.org. And, and we'll listen. We're really watching those emails every day. So know too that we're here for you and just so grateful that you've joined us this morning. We'll continue to hold each other and every one of you in our prayers. And we'll be having a virtual fellowship via Zoom right after services today. Um, you'll need to RSVP by email at info at csldenver.org and you'll be sent an invitation by email. We'd love to have you join us, catch up with us and have some interesting conversations. Thank you. Cause God lives in our souls Cause God lives in our souls Cause God lives in our souls Cause God is all Cause God's inside our souls Cause God's inside our souls Cause God Thank you, Freddie. That was beautiful. We're so grateful to have you and have your individual uh, creativity come through in your music. Thank you so much. So at, now at this time, we'll move into our invocation. So just uh, if you feel comfortable moving into that space of 
being quiet and turning within. And we know that we are moving into the natural rhythm of ourselves and of our soul and of our community. And we just connect with all that are worshiping today. And we are so grateful that we have our music and our sermon from Reverend Elzia. And we have our background coordinating team online, virtually keeping us connected during this transitioning time. We are connected with our soul. We are connected with the soul of our planet. And we turn to that recognition now, knowing that as we connect, we create reality of our dreams. And so with the power of love at hand, we now just recognize also that there's a divine healing that is happening here on the planet. It is happening individually and it is happening in our center and it's happening globally and universally. And we just open ourselves to the acceptance of that healing. This is a time that is fluctuating a lot. It is changing and we all recognize the grief and pain and, and just shifting patterns of who and what we are in this world. And we know that we are blanketed in the ever present healing power of spirit itself. And so we are just so grateful, so grateful to have each other and be a community. Okay, and our reading this morning is from Swani Kriyananda. The word soul can be used in two different ways. There is the pure soul, the spirit of God in each individual, which is ever existing, ever conscious, the soul as God reflection has this qualities as God. The soul is our true self. God manifested into an individual form. However, the soul can be identified with the physical body and take on its nature. References to spiritual progress or soul evolution use this definition because the soul that is aware of its true identity as part of God is already perfect. However, the soul can become identified with the physical body and take on its nature. Souls only evolve or progress in the sense that they go from identifying with their physical bodies to identifying with God. When a soul starts to think that it is a body and personality, it is called the ego. The ego is a soul attached to a body. The ego divides the world into mine and not mine. It is the soul's identification with the ego that separates it from God. So it is simple. It is the simple but not so simple choice of disengaging with the ego, which realigns us with soul. And Ernest Holmes reminds us, no one can rob us of our own soul and our spirit is already one with the internal goodness. So again, I uh, introduce you to Freddie Rodriguez's music and he has written a special song for us today called Looking for a Little Guidance.
Thank you. Thank you, Freddie. What a great, what a great tune. Great tune. Thanks for writing that. You're welcome. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at CSL Denver, a place, a space, and a face of love. We are a spiritual community grounded in universal principles and applying them to enhance and empower our lives and the lives of others. Now, this month, we are embarking on a theme entitled Listening to Your Heart. Listening to Your Heart. Now, you know, the, the interesting thing about this is we come up with these titles and, and, and themes for the month months before they actually happen. And I think it is so apropos of the movement and the design of, of, of God to, to lay these things out as they unfold to fit the exact circumstance. Because you see, it is now that time for each and every one of us to begin to truly listen to our heart. Because that is the direct communication link between us and the divine. And so we start this off this month, this week, with the title of Seat of the Soul. Seat of the Soul. Now, this month, we look to reground ourselves and to realign ourselves with that divine mind and allow ourselves to express fully who we are and know when to do the things that we need to do to support ourselves, our families, our communities, and the entire globe. Now, one might ask, well, what is the seat of the soul? And I think the ancient Egyptians had the perfect concept and idea to encapsulate what this is. The ancient Egyptians taught that rather than the heart, the brain being the center of who and what we are, they taught that the heart was the seat of wisdom, intelligence, memory, and the very storehouse of the soul. The very storehouse of the soul. And it was that mechanism through which God spoke to man. But the question still remains, one might ask, what is the soul? What is the soul? Well, in Genesis 2.7, it says, And the Lord God formed mankind of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, the spirit and man became a living soul. So right here at the very beginning, we see that we were endowed with the spirit of the divine that allowed us to be a living soul, a direct connection with the divine. Now, Gary Zukoff, who actually has a book called The Seat of the Soul, he said it this way, the soul is that part of you that existed before you were born and will exist after you die. It is the highest, most noble part of yourself that you can reach for. The most highest and noble part of yourself that you can reach for. And today, don't we have plenty of things to reach for? We have all kinds of new ways of being and new ways of communicating. And so to allow ourselves to reach for that piece of us that is unique and noble, that's what's being called for. Now, Deepak Chopra says that the soul is the core of your being and it is eternal. 
It's your internal reference point. Your internal reference point, which you should always be in touch with. Always be in touch with. So, so here we look at this composite of different ideas or different explanations of what the soul is. And we know immediately that it is that core essence of us, that divine part of us that is in direct connection with God. That is the one-ment with the divine. The one-ment. Now, as we move through our daily lives now, there are countless images and sensory perceptions that we are running into, if you will, that allow us or, or even encourage us to see life as a separation, to see things in disparate parts and, and, and allow ourselves to forget that at our core, there is oneness in the universe. There's one thing and that thing is God. There's, it says there is only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. And that life is my life now. And that is the basis for all creation. There's only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life. And that life is my life now. And so as we, as we just breathe that in and allow this idea of the oneness of God that sits in our soul, which is placed in our heart. Is placed in our heart. There's there is there is this idea, and there's a company called Heart Math that speaks to the idea of coherency. Coherency, heart coherency, which means the unity, and that when that happens, the whole body becomes still and at peace, and the rhythms and the vibrations within the body are in sync. And it is in those kinds of moments that we allow ourselves to reconnect with our soul, which automatically reconnects us with God. Now, to understand our unity with God is the beginning of wisdom. To understand our unity with God is the beginning of wisdom. To realize that we can express our divinity today, should we choose to do so. And by doing that, the practice will gradually move us to a greater and greater expression of life. So I would advise us to, to, to sit still and to contemplate and to meditate and to experience this oneness that sits in our heart, that allows us to be grounded and allows us to, to want for our brother and sister what we want for ourselves and open our hearts in this time and going forward so that we can rebuild and create something new by just listening to the heart. Just listening to the heart. Now, that listening point is a conversation. It is, a, it is a direct movement between God and you in conversing with the higher principles, the higher mind, the divine spirit. But it cannot work if we don't allow it to, if we don't open up to the receptivity of it, if we do not allow it to work in a way that we believe that it works. Because it is done unto us as we believe. And if you don't believe in it, not that God is not talking, not that he's not placing that wisdom and allowing it to come out of your heart. But if you are not receptive to it, it's like being on station 107, but the message is really coming on 108. You, you, you won't get the message. You won't have that correction. Now, the prophet Solomon in the Psalms said two things about this. He said, trust the Lord with all your heart. 
and lean not on your own understanding. Because the understanding that we need to be following and the understanding that will allow us to reconnect and rebuild a whole new life for ourselves and others is the voice of God that's already in our heart. Already in our heart. It says, be still and know. So that's that's what we're being called to do. And, and he goes on to say in another place in the Psalms, he says, above all else. Guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Guard your heart, because everything you do flows from it. So what does that mean? That means we have to contemplate on goodness. We have to contemplate on oneness. We have to contemplate on the health and well-being of ourselves and the entire planet and the entire universe. Because In that direct communication, God will provide. It says, God says, I will answer your prayer if you call unto me earnestly. If you allow yourself to be open to the receptivity of the divine. Jesus said it like this. He said, blessed are the pure at heart, for they shall see God. They shall see God. So once we have perfected that idea of the heart being the seat of the soul and and we are are understanding that there is a oneness in the universe and that when we reach coherency, when we reach a point where we are in tune with the divine, that we are open for direct communication. That we can allow God to download our own personal revelation as to what we should do and how we should act and how we should support based on the unique fingerprint that God has placed upon us. And so in conclusion, there is this idea of a call to action. So this month we want to be able to begin to call to action as we begin to move into a new experience. I know all over the country, states are are allowing us to slowly come back and some not so slowly come back into a, 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 a everyday sort of life. And so the call to action is that we take time each day to be still and know. Know your unity with God, spirit life itself. Know the unique fingerprint of your own soul is the power and presence of life itself. And it knows the way to unfold your highest good. It knows what to do. Ernest Holmes, our founder says, there's a power in the universe for good and you can use it. It knows how to unfold. It knows what to do. We have to be open to that receptivity and communication to get it done. So the question is, are you willing? If you're willing to take time this week and sit still and be no, let me know in the chat box. Let me know that you will commit some time this week, if not every day, to sit and be still and meditate and contemplate on your divine connection with the God that we all know and love that will speak to us in those silent moments. And so I'd like to leave you with this affirmation for this week to to help anchor that and help ground that, that idea of stillness and connection with the divine. And so this affirmation reads, I am grounded in the power and presence of life itself, the oversoul. And it is from that point from which I move. It is from that point from which I move. Let us pray. Dear Mother, Father, God, that power for good which responds to our call which brings into our spirit experience 
everything that is necessary for our unfoldment, our happiness, our peace, our health, our very success. Because I know that there is a power for good that works not sometime, but all the time. And that power enables us to help and bless others and ourselves. And so I just give thanks for that. I, I, I anchor myself in that. Knowing that there is one life and that life is God life. That life is perfect and that life is our life now. And that in that container of perfect life, we allow the spirit of God to move through us and to speak to us and to guide us. And to allow us to be a healing force in this time, allow us to be a helping hand to those who need it, to those who ask for it. And in some cases, those who don't even know they need it, but we are there ready, willing, and able to provide whatever it is we can, because we know that through God, all things are possible. All things are possible. And so as we align ourselves with that rhythm of life, that rhythm of God, that, that place where we can move succinctly with the divine, where we move and know that everything we do, everything we touch is being inspired by God. We just relax into that. We just breathe into that, knowing that there is a joy that is coming and moving through the land that is a healing balm, that is a joyous balm that will allow us to restore the kingdom. If only we listen. And so we listen now wholeheartedly. And so I give thanks knowing that all is well, that God is good, that there is nothing, nothing that God cannot do and will not do. And I know that that is happening right now, that we are rebuilding and remaking ourselves and a world that is a reflection of the divine. And so I released these words into the law, knowing that they will not return, boy, that they will come back to us, multiplied, pressed down and running over. And so we say together. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elzia, for your beautiful words. And Thank so you. it is. And so, so it is. is. We're so grateful for everyone's support of CSL Denver, whether it's in time, treasure, or talent, and especially during this time of change. Whether this is your first time joining us or you're a returning community participant, we want to thank you for your continual support financially of the important work we're striving to provide. Right now, there are many ways you can support the Center for Spiritual Living Denver with contributions. And this week, we have a special announcement. An anonymous donor will match your gifts. As an example, if you're able to give $10 to the center, our donor will double that gift. So you're actually providing the center with $20 rather than $10. With a credit card, you can give using your cell phone or device by sending a text. The text is 844 Four five four zero nine one eight, and then type the word give and the dollar amount you would like to offer. For example, if you would like to give five dollars, you would text give five. As always, you can also go to our website www.csldenver.org. There you will see a donate button in the right hand corner. Check and money. If you would prefer to mail an offering, you can mail it to CSL Denver, P.O. Box 300416, Denver, Colorado, 80203. And as we're now set up with King Supers or with Amazon Smile, where many of you shop, uh, simply link your account to Center for Spiritual Living Denver. And when you conduct your normal shopping, a, per, a percentage of all proceeds will come to our center. 
email us if you want more information. I know I did it and it looks like we got 45 cents. So if each of us is able to do 45 cents, hey, it adds up for sure. Finally, we're so blessed to have you as a member of our community. Know that showing up and being with us in spirit and in body provides us such a gift. And so much that this too fills our hearts, our souls, and the entire center. Uh, so join us as we um, repeat our usual affirmation. This perfect gift is spirit in form, circulating in blessing all that it touches. Freely I give and joyously I receive. Thank you. And join us for some music with Freddie Rodriguez, Jr. Love comes in. Open up, love comes in. Open up, love comes in. Open up, love comes in. Just you know and you love. Open up, my soul is free. 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 Try and see. Try and see. Yeah. Open up, my dreams have wings. 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 They have wings. They have wings. Okay, well, thank you so much. Wow, that was amazing. Freddie, thank you for that <laughs> yes. song. It was great. So uh, Elsie and I are going to share the announcements today for the end of the service. Um, I'm gonna announce your, your <laughs> I don't know which way to point to see, to see you, your, <laughs> your, your uh, Zoom class that you and Alice are starting. It sounds fantastic. So Reverend Elzia and Alice are offering an online class on Zoom starting this uh, starting next Wednesday, May 13th. We thought we were going to start it this week, but we were getting a lot of interest and we thought we'd give it one more week to en enhance even more interest. So Wednesday, May 13th, it will be from 6.30 to 8.30 for four Wednesdays. There's a suggested love offering at $20, but nobody's going to be turned away. We'll need about eight people to hold the class, but I think that we can we can get there. And it's going to be called Keys to Consciousness for Personal and Spiritual Growth. Uh, to sign up, so 
just type in info at CSL Denver and we'll make sure you get information. Um, we'll also be having a virtual fellowship. Did you want to say anything more about that, Elzia, before I No, I, you know, I would like to say, please come. Like we said, you know, we, we, we are welcoming everyone. I think it's a great place right now to restart and recharge ourselves and begin to cultivate a, a field, if you will, or a garden to start listening to the divine and, and expanding our consciousness of who and what we are. So it's going to be a great class. I look forward to seeing you there. And I say, what else are you doing on Wednesday nights? Right? Like, <laughs> let's, let's think about this. So no, it should be a, a wonderful class and a time just to hang out together too and learn together. So um, yes, I'm looking forward to it. So um, we're also having a virtual fellowship after uh, session on Zoom. If you want to just hang out and chat, um, just send an email if you don't already have the Zoom address to info at CSL Denver and you'll be sent an invitation. Um, we'd love to have you join us and get a chance to see you. With, see you. We yes. wish we had food for you, but please feel free to bring your own coffee, <laughs> food, and whatever, whatever you'd like. So you want to say the practitioner note? Please know that our practitioners are available for prayer with you. Uh, we'd love to pray with you or they would love to. I'm not a practitioner, but I still will pray with you. Their names and phone numbers are on our <laughs> websites at CSLDenver.org. So. Yes. And please reach out, everyone. If, if you have a prayer request or you just want to say hi, send us an email. Or, or, or and, and if you haven't done so yet, please like our Facebook page. Uh, you know, we'd love to be able to connect with you so you can uh, get the notices and everything when we begin to do new things and move forward as we as we begin to figure out our new way of expressing ourselves in this uh, brand new world called God's world. <laughs> there you go. So thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll close with some more wonderful music from Freddie. Love comes in Open up Love comes in Open up Love comes in Open up Love comes in Just to love And you love Open up My soul is free Open up My soul is free Open up, my soul is free. Open up, my soul is free. Try and see. Try and see. Yeah. Open up, my dreams have wings. 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 They have wings. They have wings. Yeah. <laughs>